I don't, I really haven't even had a chance to counter sue. I don't think I would ever sue anybody. Yeah, I'm gonna sue the shit out of them. It's like not even a question. Um, for revenues from your channel. Is, is, that, is that okay to start off with? I just wanna know if you're paying us back or not. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't, I'm not, I'm not doing this corporate bullshit. I'm not fucking here to listen to you waste a second of my time. Fuck you. Fuck your company. You guys are thieves. And deep down, you know you're a thief. That's In what's so opinion. funny. You're mm -hmm. on the phone trying to justify it. But, like, you know that what you're doing is theft. Like, you know you're stealing money. And I don't know if it's because BBTV is broke. Like, you guys just took a $20 million loan to pay back your fucking debts because you're incompetent losers that can't run a fucking business. <laughs> That's possible that you guys don't even have the money. One of the reasons I keep highlighting um, Sharzad is that she is, in my opinion, cleverly staying, uh, not dirtying her hands. But at the end of the day, she's the one making this decision. This guy is just a fall guy. He's a stooge. And I'll tell you what, we're going to find out the truth, Sharzad, because I'm going to depose each and every fucking one of you. And I'll spend <laughs> twice as much money to do it as you guys owe me. Because I don't give a fuck, because I'm going to find out some really nasty shit about you guys. You know, when, I, when you guys get deposed, and also when we subpoena records, emails, messages, it's all going to be there. Sharzad, I know you're watching. Don't erase evidence that's illegal. You might be going to your email now and saying, oh shit, I better erase all my communications so it seems like I didn't know anything about this. That's illegal. In fact, I can subpoena Google and get the deleted emails from you, so don't bother. <laughs> and I will. That's, that's the crazy part. I have the money to do this. And I'm fucking crazy enough to do it. That's the, that's the part that's absolutely fucking nuts, right? Like, I just don't care. You fucked me. Lord. You fucked me. You fucked me in the ass, Charzad. You fucked the wrong guy in the ass. <laughs> sometimes I like getting that. Some, I, in fact, I'm afraid if I keep saying it. Sometimes I like to get penetrated anally. That doesn't sound... That sounds... <laughs> that doesn't sound less vulgar. That sounds more vulgar. No, that sounds way worse. <laughs> But, uh, it was metaphorical until you. But I need permission there. first. I need, I need, there needs to be consent. You can't just slip it in, and that's where you <laughs> fucked up. Second of all, send me to jail. Send me to jail. Do you understand? I'm crazier than you. <laughs> I don't fucking <laughs> care. Like, I've done my due diligence, right? To, pro to make sure that, like, this is kosher to the best of my abilities. But at the end of the day, I don't care. I'm crazier than you are by a lot. <laughs> Like, when will people learn this? I'm fucking insane. I don't care. Like, if you fuck me over, if you steal money from me, if you patronize me, if you do any of this shit like you're trying to do to me to treat me like a fucking idiot, I'm crazy, dude. He's this, this crazy is really clown comedian. I've gone, I've gone fucking goblin mode over way less. <laughs> I don't know what y'all expected. Like, I'm fucking nuts. You had three, you had a whole week to come together and make that decision to fuck me in the ass. Without lube. And I will depose you all, and I want to hear that conversation about if we should use lube or not. I will at, make sure our lawyer asked you, while you're being deposed, <laughs> Sharzad, did you say you would do sodomy on Ethan without the use of a lubricant? I will ask that, and we'll get to the truth. If there's a way to get criminal charges, that's what I'm going to try to pursue. This is fun for me. Don't you understand that? This is like fucking, uh, this is what like turns me on. This is what gets me going, Charzad. I live off this shit. <laughs> That turns me Nothing off. gets me hard like paying attorneys hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's my favorite pastime. <laughs> I literally put my lawyer's great grandchildren through college. That turns me off. And I don't care. And this is where I, the fun really begins. <laughs> See, they don't think that I'm going to share this, but I am. Like, oops. Like, I, I don't care. They go private and confidential. Fuck that. <laughs> I don't agree. But I don't care about that. <laughs> My life's an open book. 
Please remove the videos and tweets posted yesterday and today, and refrain from further comment until we have been able to discuss this with you and your counsel. Or what? <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Everybody's got their little plans. Please remove the posts and stop talking about it. Or what? <laughs> I'm here, live. I couldn't even- you couldn't even erase this if you tried. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? I'm unhelpful as shit. <laughs> My middle fucking name. That's right. I'm right here. Stop me. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? How dare you? I didn't- I don't know who you are. I don't know you. Appreciation post for one of our favorite crews on our favorite podcast. You broke my heart. If you haven't listened before, you are missing out on some of the best chaos of your life. Oh yeah? How are you enjoying that chaos now? <laughs> <laughs> this is so I took the only one where I wasn't in it. It's kind of fucking rude, I'm not gonna lie. Yo. Oh. Fuck BBTV. Fuck BBTV. Idiots. Assholes. Yeah. Dumbass. Idiots. Dumbass. Idiot. <laughs> Company. Idiot. <laughs> Morons. Yeah. Best chaos of your life. Charzad, look at the face. This is the face that you fucked over. <laughs> Take a deep look into it. Oh, I'm being told that's his actual, that's his actual face. I'm so sorry, Ethan. <laughs> All right. It's not the prettiest face, but it is a face. You fucked me. You understand what that means? You didn't think I would play this call, did you? I don't fucking care. I don't. Arrest me. I will- I'll die for this shit. <laughs> so I said, dear whatever attorney, I must express my deepest gratitude for the fact that this is the second legal letter you've sent me at the witching hour of 10 p.m. On a weekend, no less. And during a holiday to boot? <laughs> Happy Easter, by the way. Truly warms my heart to know that you're so devoted to our little dispute that you're willing to sacrifice your precious personal time. It paints a rather vivid picture of frantic desperation, as if you're scrambling to make amends for your company's own incompetence. If you intend to accuse me of violating U YouTube's community guidelines and defaming and harassing your CEO, I would kindly request that you be more specific. It's crucial that we maintain a fair and transparent dialogue during this time. Fair and transparent. Unlike your theft of $620,000 without notice or discussion. While I am truly heartbroken by the end of our relationship, I cannot help but wonder if your company will be able to survive without the steady flow of stolen fronts from our channel. It is, indeed, a trying time for you, especially considering that your stock has plummeted a staggering 96%, not to mention the re recent acquisition of $21.6 million Canadian dollars, desperately sought to pay off mounting debts. 21. And my God, to accept that loan with 16% interest? <laughs> How bad are your financials? A kid with a lemonade stand could secure better financing from the childhood <laughs> than the neighborhood children. <laughs> if you needed money, you only had to ask. I would have given it to you for 15%. <laughs> you accused me of potentially illegally recording a conversation with your business representative and crossing other unspecified legal and contractual boundaries. However, as you are well aware, Canada is a one-party consent country. I'm sure the important legal and contractual boundaries I crossed are very scary. Too scary, apparently, to speak of, since you cannot even list them. Unlike you, I can be very specific about the legal and contractual boundaries you have crossed, stealing $620,000. The notion that I was somehow impatient and unwilling to wait for your decision is provably false. You will grant an entire week carefully consider the matter after receiving my initial letter and ultimately chose in unison, in unison with leadership to retain my funds. This decision is clearly documented in the recorded call, which fortunately exists to counter your misrepresentation of the facts. Resolving this issue is quite straightforward on your point. Return the stolen 620,000. Anything less will be for the court to decide. Lastly, I couldn't help but notice the closing paragraph of your letter in which you profess your undying pride in your company. While I'm thrilled to see you so enamored with your organization, it did come across as slightly insecure. <laughs> P.S. As an aside, 
considering the current state of affairs at your company, it might be wise, uh, a wise decision to explore new employment opportunities. I'm sure your skills and expertise as a lawyer would be high, highly valued somewhere else. For example, FTX, Enron, or the Capone crime family. <laughs> your obedient servant, Ethan Klein. Your obedient servant. Definitely a Hamilton yes, reference. Yes, a Hamilton him. reference. And and I, I have a good night. and she she always <laughs> when she messages me, she does an attachment. She always puts it in attachment. So I wanted to put something in an attachment for her. And uh, here's what I attached. Um, it's a picture <laughs> of. <laughs> <laughs> It says, fuck you and your whole organization. It's a picture of me, soy-eyed. <laughs> and just a little something, because she should know a little bit about me. It's a minion meme. I'm a handful. I'm strong-willed, independent, a bit outspoken, and I tell it like it is. I make mistakes. I am sometimes out of control. And at times, I'm hard to handle, but I love, and I give with all my heart. So true. Oh, such a cancer. If you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure don't deserve me at my best. <laughs> Signed, owner, fair use, and First Amendment advocate, Ethan Klein. Yeah, your proper title. 